Blessings, blessings, for this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to Word Unfiltered, where there's no filters, no chasers to the Word of God. I don't take from it, I don't add to it, for he has already perfected it enough. Y'all, this video is about Prophet Brian Karn. His name should be Prophet Brian carnal minded um, the things that he is uh, preaching is straight blasphemy okay against god against jesus christ okay so in this video that i'm about to play for you it's a video that is surfacing on tiktok and the things that this man is preaching is utterly ridiculous okay utterly ridiculous so watch this tiktok clip right here the bible say he was tempted not in some points but what oh. why does it tell us that and, and that's a strong statement to say that he was tempted in all point why why would he say that and i think it's very powerful to understand that uh i think we never take the time to really consider the feelings yeah. that was going through jesus's body yeah. When Mary Magdalene yeah, yeah, yeah. was ministering to him. I don't, I don't think we ever think about that. Because Mary Magdalene wasn't no novice. Let me put it out there. She was a prostitute. Y'all quiet in here. She was a prostitute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me, let me, let me, let me keep, now I don't know what she's a prostitute, but, but when she got saved, she didn't forget how to touch a man. So, so, so she knew how to touch him and something, something she did. Something, I don't know what it was, but something made him say she touched me. Something happened and now I know. I can't marry her, so just mention her. So the text that he is talking about and falsely expounding on is Hebrews, the 14th, fourth chapter, excuse me, the 15th verse. And it says, for we have not in high priest, which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin and he's saying mary magdalene who was a, a former prostitute was touching jesus in an intimate way because this is what she was known for this was our past life okay so she knew how to please men physically because mary magdalene wasn't no novice let me put it out there she was a prostitute Y'all quiet in here. She was a prostitute. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let me, let me, let me, let me keep. Now, I don't know what she's a prostitute, but but when she got saved, she didn't forget how to touch a man. So she's touching Jesus Christ in this way, and this is why it is so important that we study to show ourselves approved unto God. A workman that needed not to be ashamed of rightly dividing the word of truth. Because for him to say that G it caused Jesus' flesh to rise up. So, so, so she knew how to touch him. And something, something she did. Something. I don't know what it was. But something made him say, she touched me. <laughs> something happened and now I knew. I can't marry her, so just mention her. Is a mockery and it's blasphemy, especially when Jesus spoke in his word and he said, any man, if you look on a woman and lust after her, you have committed adultery in your heart. And it totally tells us that yet Jesus Christ was without sin. So it's no way he could lust. For him, his flesh to rise up is a spirit of lust. It's a type of lust, okay? That is a sin. 
so there's no way that he could be tempted in that way where his flesh, it started bothering his flesh that she was touching him, but yet he was without sin. When in a, a previous scripture, he said, if you look on a woman and lust after her, it, you have already committed adultery in your heart. <sighs> False prophet, okay? False prophet. And the crazy part is, all of the people like, yeah, teach us, teach us, yeah, amen. No, don't teach nobody. Sit, sit down, sit down, close your church, okay? Because you're teaching false doctrine. Our temptations as humans, okay, as mankind, is way different from the temptations that Jesus experienced. What temptation does in us is stir up those inner things that is in us, that is in our flesh. Lust, okay? Lying, adultery, idolatry, all these different sins that is in us. What temptation does is stir up those things. And if we yield to the lust of the flesh, if we yield to the things of the flesh, then we find ourselves committing the acts that coincide with those things that are in our sinful flesh. Jesus was sinless. So there was no way that these sinful things can be stirred up in him. And there was no way that Mary Magdalene, okay, caused lustful thoughts lustful feelings to stir up in Jesus because those things were not in him. He was sinless inside, outside, on the left, on the right, in the front, in the back. He was sinless. He was pure. And that's why he was considered the perfect sacrifice for us. There was no blemish in him. There was no sin in him for the enemy to stir up for Mary Magdalene to stir up. What are you talking about? You false prophet. And this is why it says in Matthew the seventh chapter, not everyone 21st through the 23rd verse, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And I will then profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. People just put in titles on their names, but they are not sent by God, okay? They are not sent by, by God. They are just preaching whatever they want to preach and what this is doing. So now those who are listening in and agreeing with this mess is saying, oh, if Jesus had those feelings, Okay, if the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords had those feelings, then my feelings, because I haven't been able to deny my flesh, I haven't been able to get control of my flesh because I'm still carnal minded and I'm, I'm not really fully in this thing. So my feelings that I have when I'm looking on a man or looking on a woman and lusting after them is okay because Jesus, it happened to him. You are leading people down the wrong path. But what it is, is showing that this is something that I'm not even going to call him prophet or pastor. This is something that Brian Karn, Brian Carnal Minded, is dealing with. He's dealing with fleshly, lustful desires. And I promise you, he has given in to many as a pastor and as a self-proclaimed prophet. And this is why it's so important to know the word for yourself. Because another thing, this man is, is preaching and teaching that Mary Magdalene touched Jesus. That's not in scripture. Actually, when Mary Magdalene witnessed the resurrected Jesus, he told her not to, to touch him. And what he is doing is confusing that with the woman 
who had the issue of blood, who didn't touch Jesus, but touched the hem of his garment, touched the tassel of his garment. And Jesus felt that this was a different type of touch because of her faith, her desperation. She knew that Jesus was the only one who could heal her because she had this issue for 12 long years and she spent all of her money seeing physicians and seeing specialists and no one could hear her, could heal her. So she knew when Jesus was coming through, she knew this was her last her last chance to get healed and delivered from this issue of blood that she had battled with for so long. And she touched the hem of her gar his garment and she was made whole, okay? And her touch was different because of her faith. It had nothing to do with Jesus less than he, this man don't even have the story's right. And this is why you got to know the word for yourself because all those people who are cheering and applauding him, he don't even have the story right. It wasn't Mary Magdalene that touched him. She was commanded not to touch him after he resurrected. It was the woman who had an issue of blood. Study the word for yourself. Get a relationship with God for yourself. And that way when you come across someone who is preaching something that is perverted, okay, that is perverted, that is false doctrine, that is the false gospel, someone who's a false prophet, you will know for yourself that it's not right. And if this is the teaching that you're coming across in your church, leave your church today.